8 degrees today and about 50 click winds. It's got the shed pretty warm. These fans are purging and they're keeping the temperature within the shed at 8 degrees which is what the ambient outdoor temperature is so that's good that's all I can expect from these fans it's an 8 inch fan and a 12 inch fan and they've been ramped right up and they're exchanging the air quick enough to be able to keep the shed temperature inside the same as outdoor temperature and at night what you want to do is be able to remove that heat energy so when the temperature at night falls down to minus three if we keep those fans wrapped right up there's going to drop the temperature right down so that's good i just finished sweeping two more wheelbarrows of uh, dead bees <clears throat> huh i'm out of shape it's time to get back into shape because we're just about to get to the season here and i'll show you why i wanted to sweep the aisles putting this on not because of COVID, but because of the bee dust in the air. We'll just take a peek. <clears throat> Eight degrees. So I swept up the bee drop on the floor and I was actually surprised. There's only two wheelbarrows full of bee drop. I thought it'd be more than that. Whatever that means, I don't know. But the shed's a little bit stirred up now because I've been in here working. As you can see, the bees are somewhat bearded. But if you notice, calm. You know? No runny bees. Well, it's only 8 degrees, so I shouldn't be running yet. Nice and calm. The problem is, look at that, see the canola honey they're eating? They are digging right into the resource there. The problem is tomorrow is supposed to be 13 degrees. So that's going to get this shed a little more active. And I'm afraid I might not be able to keep the shed temperature down to a comfortable range in here. So if the shed temperature gets up around 13 and with that added energy from the bees once they get more active they'll be kicking off more heat and possibly could see a 15 degree shed tomorrow it's a little bit of running on that one not much mostly to the white light that's what i mean by running the bees just aimlessly run on the face like that because they're they've been cooped up for quite a while they want to get out and they panic so they see this white light off my camera and they, they're anxious, they want to get out, they want to fly, they want to poop. But I was saying, if the shed gets up to dangerous levels around 15 or so, to the point where uh, it's so warm they really start bearding, and if they get really unsettled, they'll start running on the face like this and panic and I'll see a lot of bee drop. So what I'm doing, or what I've done, as I have swept the floor, swept all the dead bees off the floor because I have a few tricks up my sleeve just in case I start getting an overheated shed. I don't have refrigeration so I just have to deal with it. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm pumping air through the shed. Second thing I'm doing is I have these ceiling fans on high so I have kind of like a windy environment going on in here now. I'm not worried about keeping these bees in dormant state because they pretty much broke that. Their clusters are too active, so we're not trying to maintain that carbon dioxide envelope or anything like that. That's not even a concern of ours right now. What they're mostly focused on is just keeping these girls calm. And what I do is I walk the aisles with a pressure washer and just kind of mist water vapor up into the air. I'm very careful just to use a little bit of water vapor with the pressure washer and just go through and just kind of mist down the aisles. That's if the bees get really active. And what that does is it calms the bees down, drives them back into their box, and it sucks the heat energy out of the air and is expelled through the fans. 
So they, that's a practice that's typically done with uh, poultry barns, hog barns. When it gets too hot, they mist the barn down and they exchange all that humid, hot air out and it removes the heat from the barn and from the animals. And the bees are the same way. So I have to be very careful when I go down the aisle with the pressure washer, just misting the air, that I don't use too much to the point where I'm soaking the hives. Because if I soak the hive, it's gonna drip down and down to the one below and I could exchange disease that way, like uh, if they had nosema infection, let's say, or yeast infection or something like that. So I have to be very careful just to use little bits of water vapor throughout the day, just kind of down the aisles, mist the air very gently. Lots of times throughout the day, like every hour or something like that, just to suck that residual heat out of the air and send it out with the fans. So that is my strategy if and only if I start seeing the bees run on the face like that. See that? That's what it's going to look like. They're running to my white light right now. So I got to get out of here. But that's what I don't want to see. And that's what I'm going to try to manage. <laughs>